my lovelies, my name is Amalika K, and welcome to First Kiss at a Spooky Suore. Now, this game was made by Nam Nam Nami, and if you guys know, she has made some other really, really cute games that she's done, mostly for yearly game jams, like uh, Lonely Wolf Treat and that series. I've done the first two games of that series, I plan on doing the rest of them, but this game looked super duper cute, and it has First Kiss in it. Most of hers have to do with some kind of level of romance, but this one focuses more on romance, and because it's the month of love and Valentine's being February, I thought, what better time to do it now? It has a little... Halloween spooky vibe, and everything she does is just freaking adorable. So let's do something fun, romantic, and cute together, like this. We apparently are playing as the Mars Pan, and she is freaking adorable. This is it. Oh, so this is Jam. This is it. The party where I'll finally have my first kiss. First kiss party, it's happening. I wanna go home. You better be kidding. I didn't bring you all the way here for nothing, Mars. I'm half kidding. I'm just nervous. Well, don't be. You made up your mind, didn't you? No matter who it is, you're gonna kiss someone on the lips because you're so tired of being so old and yet never... <sighs> don't say it! I know, I know, I'm here. So now I'm committed to following through. Yep. And as you are familiar, I support you completely. Okay, but... Oh, I'm sorry, wrong voice. Okay, but why you gotta insist on being my familiar? Can a witch have a cat friend without it being Matt's? Let me be of service to you, master. Meow meow. Oh my god, Jam is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> oh my god, stop! I'm letting you help me, so never say that stuff in front of anyone ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go inside. Ooh, Spooky Suarez. We've never kissed anybody before. Obviously, first kiss, Spooky Suarez. I wonder who we're gonna get options of for whom to kiss. It's, uh... A little crowded in here, huh? The more the merrier. Get out there and chat someone up. Alright, uh, who should I try talking to? Should we talk to a tiny person? The incubus boy? Ooh. Retreat to the snack table? More options. I have more options, huh? Hot demon chick! Ooh. Seriously, who around here looks the most kissable? Uh, there's a dog. That's kind of adorable. Is that girl dead? Wait, start over. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. I mean, if I'm at a party, the uh, hot demon chick's probably who I'm gonna go for, but Mars Pan is very shy. She has not kissed anybody before. She's very reserved, so I don't think we'd get anywhere with the hot demon chick to start off. First, I'm gonna make sure, she seems like she's the more caring type. Let's make sure that this girl isn't dead. We're gonna do that option first. Uh, oh shit, I, I think that girl on the floor over there is passed out or something. Uh, Jam, don't just leave me here talking to myself. Uh, whatever, no one noticed. I should go see if that girl is okay. Um, uh, hello? Are you dead? Oh, it's a zombie girl. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, it's more like I'm undead. Oh, I, I thought this would turn into a murder mystery sort of party. Good thing there was no murder. What's murder is all these bright colors and noisy party goers. I'm having sensory overload here. I'm sorry, do you need any help? I could move you somewhere more- Don't touch me! Eep. Sorry, oversensitive. Could you actually bring me a soda? It'll relieve me, seriously. Uh... Yeah, right away, let's do it! We're gonna go down the zombie girl path. You can count on me, I'll be right back. Soda, soda, here we go. I hope this is the kind she wants. Oh my god, everything here is so freaking cute! Ooh, there's a ghostly girl here. Boo! Ah, uh, you're all see-through. Oh, is th it a light spell? You're like a projection, right? <laughs> this is why I hate other witches. No one ever yells G -g 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 ghost and runs away. Sorry, that was the wrong response. <laughs> no, it's not what I expected. Just uh, give me that soda. Uh, I'm supposed to give this to that girl over there. It it's to revive her. <laughs> Don't give it to my stalker. Give it to me instead. Stalker? Gimme, give gimme! Give her hands face right through mine. That feels strange. Ah, being incorporeal is the worst. I just want a little taste. I don't really get what's happening right now, but... Um, well, we could try and pour some in her mouth. Uh, that's a little weird, but, I mean, we could try and go for it. She's also acting like a complete brat right now. So, I don't feel like doing anything kind for her, but she seems like the pushover that would let anything happen. So, we're gonna go with trying to pour some into her mouth and letting it dribble to the floor. Here, does this work? <laughs> Stop, you'll just make a mess. Thanks anyway. Now, before I get back over there, what's that stalker business? <laughs> it's complicated, but I'll tell you since I like talking about myself. 
<laughs> How straightforward. I'm a witch. My body's starting to rot for some reason. It's a weird virus. There's no known cure. Y you're not contagious, are you? I know how not to infect people. Besides, in this, I'm perfectly safe. Anyway, instead of hanging out in a diseased vessel till I die, I split my soul off so I could be free to do whatever I want. Again. Aren't I clever? But you can't even touch anyone like this. <sighs> yeah, it has its downsides. That stalker over there? That's my body. The rest of my soul's in there. The rest? Yeah. If my whole soul left it, there'd be no going back. My body would totally die! I'd slip into the afterlife, but I want to party here! Huh. It sounds pretty selfish, but makes sense. Except, if that's your body, why'd you call it your stalker? Uh, because it keeps following me everywhere. Isn't that so creepy? Have you tried talking to it? Uh, her? Come on, if you two reunite, you'll get a taste of the soda. You're mean, you witch. We're both witches. Um, okay. Did you bring the soda? I did, along with the rest of your soul, apparently. Could you pour it in my mouth? The soda? Yeah, uh, sure. Let, or not yet. Mmm, you know what? We're, we're gonna pour it. Here you go. Gluck, gluck. Ah, thank you. So not fair, so not fair! You could be enjoying this too if you'd become a whole person again. Ghost me, please. I know you want to taste it. Oh, she's a little tear in her eye. I know having a body is kind of lame, especially when I'm rotting like this. But look, this noisy witch is trying to help us out. This nosy witch? Oh, okay. Nosy? Well, I guess I am kind of in this situation. We went through so much trouble to do the spell. I know. I tried to ditch you and I treated you like garbage, but you followed me all the way here. I know. Even when you ran out of energy and collapsed over here, I didn't even tell anyone to go and help you up. Why am I such a dick to myself? <laughs> and this cute witch wanted to help and I tried to take the soda for myself. C cute? Soda, our lifeblood, she really brought us some for us to enjoy together. Even if we're just a weirdo she found on the floor. Uh, everyone was else was ignoring you, so y you're you're so good. I like you. Smooch! Ah! We got our first kiss! How freaking adorable! Oh! Uh... Uh-huh. What just happened? Okay, let's reunite. I'm ready. I think that was my first kiss, but I didn't feel anything. Wait, did that even count? You're back together. Good for you. Uh, <laughs> I never got your name. It's Vin, short for vinegar. Vin! I'm Mars, short for Marzipan. Sorry about the goose kiss. Uh, oh, um, I didn't mind. Don't worry about it. Really? Cool. Since it was like a fraction of my soul, she was kind of dumb and did whatever she wanted, so... Uh, I'm glad you're whole again. Here, the rest of your soda. Carbonate me. Yes. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, thank you. Does soda really heal you that much? I told you, it's my lifeblood. You revived me. I owe you one. Hmm, then wanna hang out? Sure. Help me over to the snack table. Aww. <laughs> we got the vinegar end. So, that was super, super cute. Oh my god. That's freaking adorable. So we have the vinegar end. Apparently there's multiple different endings. Well, that's adorable. I know that there has to be more endings than that. So let's go ahead and skip straight to the point where we can talk to somebody else. So we already talked to Vinegar. We could talk to the cute dog girl or the hot demon chick. But I think think a tiny person oh the moth up on the chandelier i didn't even notice you know what let's talk to the incubus boy we got a kiss from a girl and we started hanging out with vinegar who may or may not end up as our girlfriend so let's try and go for a boyfriend this time and see if we can get a kiss from him uh, hey it shouldn't be hard to get a kiss from an incubus right <laughs> oh shit you want to go for the shiver bold good luck y yeah i'm gonna go say hi <laughs> I'll swoosh on in and advice if it seems like you need some of my help. Thanks, here I go. Well, an incubus is a demon. A succubus is a demon that tries to lure you in for, like, love and sexual stuff, like, romantic things. 
<laughs> Ooh, Shivril. I'm sorry, what voice are we gonna give him? <clears throat> oh, a new face. Hello, I'm friends with Jim. I think you know her? <laughs> oh, you're Marspan, aren't you? She talks about you constantly. I'm glad you can make it. <laughs> yeah, I, I never really go to parties, so cool to be here, I guess. Soirees aren't your scene, huh? Mind if I ask what made you decide to come tonight? Just felt like it. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. I'm trying to meet someone in hopes of, uh, romantic developments. Me too, Marzipan. Why am I saying this to him? He just makes me feel so at ease. Is that what Incubi are like? Oh, romantic developments. No wonder you approached me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, was that way too blunt or is he gonna take it the wrong way? Is he gonna make a move on me because I said that? Is this how the first kiss is going to happen because I just blurted out? Basil, come over here a minute. Um, uh, do you need something? Oh, this guy is cute. Just wanted to introduce you to Jam's friend Marspan. Say hello. Uh, hello. I hope you're having a good time. Yeah, I, uh, love your house. Uh, thank you. Mm, awkward silence ensues. That would be so my very good friend at a party. I'm thinking of one person in particular and there would just be so much awkward silence. Look at that, you're getting along great. Keep up the incredible conversation. I'll be back momentarily. <laughs> he patted my back as he left. Is this a setup? He's trying to set me up. He's so trying to set me up with his brother Basil. My brother Basil is a, a, a little pushy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mind. You look more uncomfortable than me, so I had to be the one apologizing. I I'm kind of uh, I'm just stuck with a, a busy atmosphere like this, I guess. Yeah, same. <laughs> Come on, why can't I think of anything to say? I've had so much small talk in my life, and yet I can't think of a conversation starter in this critical moment. Awkward silences totally kill me. Wait for him to say something, make up an excuse, and leave. That would be worse. I'd rather cringe and wait for him to say something. Oh god, the cringe, the social awkwardness and anxiety is real. Calm down, calm down. Patience is key. I just can't run away the first second I get anxious. I'll just be honest. <laughs> wow, it sure is hard to just start a conversation with someone out of nowhere. It, yeah, it is. Sometimes, um, I wish you could just, you know, use an escape door to exit reality. Oh, hold Oh, 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 hold on just a fucking second. That's a reference to... You play Demon Skaga? Or Demon Skaya? You know about Demon Skaya? I've been a huge fan for like the last decade. Oh my god, it's so rare to even run into someone who knows about it. Yeah, I've played all of them from the start. I've never met anyone who wasn't introduced to it through me and my brother. OMG, I'm always the one who's showing it to my friends too. Ah, oh, what? This is so awesome. Allied for life. Ah, uh, you really play them all? Um, I have a, a big collection. Did you want to see it upstairs? Uh, yes, absolutely, with two exclamation marks. You have to take me right now. Oh, there's so much to talk about. I hope I'm not getting in the way of your plans for tonight. No, 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 no. This is way better than I could have ever wished for. Do not worry at all. Ah, uh, that's great. Well, let's go then. These are all my figures. I have them organized by series. And, and uh, all the books, well, not, not all of them. I know uh, of two or three I still need to find. Oh my god, you have so much rare shit. Is this heaven? I just love that all these characters are really inspiring, you know? Yeah, Magico is your favorite, isn't she? Uh, how could you tell? I guess I do have an entire shelf of her. I love her too. Her spells are what made me want to specialize in light magic. Yeah, I understand that feeling. I want to be like her too. And, um, I hope it isn't awkward to be suddenly brought into a b b boy's room when you don't really know me. I guess a normal person might feel weird, but you're no stranger to me. It's not awkward at all. <laughs> I don't feel awkward at all. I hope me being here isn't making you feel awkward either. No, it's just, can, can I be honest with you? So I feel like we can trust each other as, as magical fans, because bonding over, you know, magical, that'd be like me meeting somebody who is super into Pokemon at a party. I'd be like, okay, bro, you and I are now brethren. You love Pokemon as much as I do. We need to talk, we need to sit down, we need to jam. And I would just talk video games with them nonstop. <laughs> uh, and pretty much anybody that is a hardcore video game fanatic, mostly for Pokemon, because I love Pokemon so much. Oh, that ideal date right there. Talk about Pokemon the entire time. It'd be amazing. Sure, of course. What's up? Uh, the reason my brother was uh, um, acting strange earlier, part of the reason he throws me these parties is so that I, uh, he, he wants me to come out of my shell, I guess, I, I, as an incubus. I, I'm no good at attracting people like he is. 
I'd rather, um, be more like Magico. In, in that way, um, she does whatever she wants and doesn't try to impress anyone. I, I, yeah, she's really cool that way. Such a badass, honestly. Yeah, wow. Sometimes I feel like if I could be her, maybe I would feel more confident. What's stopping you? Uh, uh, oh, I, I mean, I, I can't look like her. I think you could pull it off. It'd be easy with my magic. You think I should try cosplaying her? Yeah, let's do it. It'd be so much fun. Uh, right now, can we? Absolutely. I love, 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 love this sort of thing. Leave it to me. Oh, we're gonna dress her up as Magico? Or dress him up as Magico? <gasps> and you're ready. How do you feel, Magico? Wow, you did a really good job. It's like I blinked and you were done. Well, light magic saves you a lot of trouble. You don't need dyes or makeup when you can just do color spells. I'm really like Magico now. Want to go show off? No, 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 I'm not ready for something like that. Fair enough. I just feel really proud looking at you. I never expected to bond this much with someone at a party like this, and over Magico of all things. Is this why people go to parties for rare experiences like this? Oh no, my goal! I'm supposed to be trying to get a kiss! But I don't want Basil to feel awkward and then we never hang out again. No, what am I supposed to do? Sorry if I'm wrong, but y you look troubled all of a sudden. Uh, oh, it's nothing. I just I just remembered what I came to the party to do. <laughs> I got so distracted. What was that? Guess I might as well say it. I'm um, trying to get my first kiss right now from someone here tonight. Oh, how come? Because I wanted to make it happen. No matter what, this is just something I tell myself I have to do. Ah, that's very magical like of you. Maybe I should cosplay her too. Anyway, I should probably go back downstairs and try to work on accomplishing my goal. It was fun hanging out, Basil. Let's do it again sometime, okay? Oh, wait. Huh? You don't have to go downstairs yet. I, I mean, I, I shouldn't keep you if you want to go, but, but what's up? Ma Magic charm! Uh-huh. It's her spell. You have to know. I got that, but why are you suddenly magic charming me? F fool Must I spell it out for you? A helpless peon. Oh my god, he's trying so hard right now. He is trying his absolute hardest to get her to kiss him. Oh my freaking god, he's so cute. I can't, I can't resist it. Oh my god, it's hitting me in the feels. It's hitting, it's so cute, guys. I freaking can't. Everything Nom Nomi, Nom Nom Nomi makes is the cutest shit I've ever seen. If it's a kiss you desire, look no further than Magico. I, I mean, I'm so sorry, I was just being in character, but you probably um, didn't want to. N no, no, that was great. I didn't want to make you feel weird by asking, so if you really do it, then y yeah, it it's the least I can do to say thanks. So, um, prepare yourself. All right, I wouldn't recommend saying prepare yourself before you kiss somebody. Life lessons with Lekka. Just, just kiss him. Just, just kiss them if the signs are there. Don't, uh, don't say prepare yourself. That makes it sound like it's going to be a terrible time. But for this, because Basil is cosplaying as Magico, it's okay. <sighs> Magi Smooch! Or, Magi Smooch. That is some cute stuff. Ah, oh, my first kiss ended up being from Magico. I never would have guessed. Was that okay for your goal? Yeah, I feel kind of silly for making such a big deal out of it, but it's done now. If there's anything else you need, Magico will have your back. Oh my god, I can't get over how good you are at being her. I am? I mean... <laughs> of course. Oh, We're best buddies! We got the basil and... Oh my god, that's so cute. Ah, it's so cute, it's so freaking cute. Oh my god, I can't. It's, it's too, too much, too much cuteness, guys. Absolutely too much freaking cuteness. Oh, I love it. I absolutely freaking love it. All right, well, I am going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, then please remember to drop a like down below. And if you guys want to see the other endings, then please let me know. I'm probably going to make at least one more episode of this to get a couple more endings. But if you guys want to see the full game and see all the endings put together, then let me know in the comments and let me know what you guys would like to see me go after date-wise. But... Without taking up any more else time, I will go ahead and let you beautiful, beautiful, love struck, cute people go. Goodbye, my lovelies. Three, two, one, go!